Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolitz, writer for a year, and today we're going to talk about changing up your working environment and also what it takes to research a book. So this is the sunroom and I realize it's not the best light to shoot it in because everything is very dappled but um, I'm sure you get the idea anyway. The sunroom has its own range of fabulous treasures and it has a wonderful workstation which looks out onto the street um, and we have one of our Barbie dolls and religious candles and well all sorts of things. Then we swing around, we've got a tiny little Apple Mac which apparently could work if someone could dedicate some time to it. Um, some flamingos and up we go, um, catching some flair and down to some fake flowers and some real flowers. So swinging back to the workstation with um, enough speed to make one dizzy, the topic is research when it comes to preparing for a book because actually it turns out that I do a lot more research than I had given myself credit for. Yes, so I never realized the extent to which I do do preliminary research and then put things together in a binder like this one. Um, that's a mental institution in the top in Australia, which takes part in the occult persuasion. And then that was just kind of inspiration at the bottom for one of my characters. And then I do all kinds of things, collect um, images that might inspire me, um, other images that also may have facts or remind me about things. And then um, just, you know, highlights a lot of notes and things and then also about the story, etc. So I hadn't quite realized that I go to this degree. And that's what I'm busy doing now with the 48 is collecting um, visual props, as it were, visual inspiration, plotting the thing out. I do actually plot things really carefully. Um, but then it all goes to hell in a handbasket. But still one tries. So this is the book that I'm currently working on. It's a sci-fi sequel to The Rage Room and there's nothing like an uplifting, cheerful image to inspire one. And it turns out, as I say, that I've done a fair amount of research on this. Um, to this end, I'm reading this book by Dr. Julia Shaw, which is fascinating. Um, this book I wanted to show you because I used it as a resource in the Occult Persuasion um, and the Anarchist Solution. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's a marvelous book. And then it's also important to read books um, of the ilk that you are writing. And so I'm currently reading this one, which is fantastic, a science fiction tome, and it's so nice and thick. I love it. And just wanted to show you this bookmark, Mermaid Hair Don't Care, because it's a, kind of a juxtaposition to all this darkness. But uh, it's, it's really, it cheers me up. Um, so, yep, there we go. From the Occult Persuasion is now going to be a book. And so, hopefully, maybe, so will the 48 one day. Thank you.